Hi, everybody. Happy Friday. Today is True Confessions Day. It's another one of those we need a day for such and such. And while many of them may seem frivolous, this one is certainly important. James 5.16 clearly says, Confess your sins to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. Confession is important. Yet one comment I read recently regarding the importance of this day troubled me. In commenting on why anyone should try this confessing of sin day, one person wrote, we can instead relieve ourselves of shame, anxiety, fear, and guilt, clearing space for a healthier mindset. But this misses a very crucial part of confession. You see, confession has two parts. First is to confess your wrongdoing. The second is to receive absolution. The power of confession isn't found in the act of admitting you're wrong and then happily just moving on. The true power of confession is found in the absolution, that is the hearing and receiving of forgiveness. It's what we call salvation, redemption, renewal. So by all means, go ahead and confess your sins to God today. In fact, confess them every day to God. But listen to and receive the absolution of those sins from him. We read in 1 John 1, 8-9, God, who is both faithful and just, promises you that when you confess your sins, he will forgive you from all of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. One other thing. If God is so willing to forgive and absolve you, what would possibly keep you from giving that to someone else? Let's pray. Lord God, we do confess that we are by nature sinful and we are unclean. We have sinned against you in thought, in word, in deed, by the things that we've done and by the things that we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We've not loved our neighbor as ourselves. And we justly deserve your present and eternal punishment. But for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us. Forgive us, renew us, and lead us so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. You know, God has given you this forgiveness in Jesus Christ. You are forgiven and set free. Go in that peace, go in that freedom, and share that love with those that you encounter this weekend.